Hi everyone, this is Dr. Krobe, headache expert, and welcome to the very first edition of Dr. Krobe's headache blog. Um, in this edition, I'd like to talk about Amovig. And Amovig is a really exciting product, um, and it's exciting because it's the very first example of a new class of drugs um, for the prevention of migraine in adults. Amovig was approved by the FDA last week, so it is brand new. And this is one of the first examples of what it's going to look like when it reaches the patient. So um, a little bit about Amovig. It's a monoclonal antibody um, directed against CGRP. Um, and future videos will hopefully clarify what exactly that means. But it's important to understand um, chiefly that Amovig is a brand new drug of a brand new class um, for the prevention of migraine in adults. Um, so this is an unboxing video. It's, it's like all my videos, it's informational um, and demonstrative. Um, and it's not intended to be medical advice. If you're looking for medical advice, see a healthcare provider. Um, and for specifics about Amovig, including side effects, um, risks, benefits, uh, and administration instructions, please see the package insert. Um, other Amovig resources available on the Amovig website um, and talk to your doctor. So patients who get Amovig will get it by prescription after talking with their doctor um, about whether Amovig is right for them um, and what dose of Amovig will be correct. Um, Amovig comes in two doses, 70 milligrams and 140 milligrams, and the patient will self-administer Amovig once a month. Um, once a prescription um, is processed and there's some paperwork involved, Amovig will arrive at the patient's doorstep um, in a refrigerated uh, package and it has to be stored refrigerated. Um, it can be unrefrigerated for up to seven days, but it can't be re-refrigerated. Um, and so that's good for people who are traveling. Um, they can take it with them as long as they use it within seven days. But remember, it can't be re-refrigerated and if it's been sitting out for more than seven days, it should be discarded. So Amovig will be in the refrigerator. Um, patients who want to use it will take it out of the refrigerator and let it come to room temperature without heating it in the microwave or anything like that. Just leave, they're just going to leave it out on the counter. They're going to open the package and this is what they're going to find. Um, there's going to be either one or two auto injectors. Um, so this is an example of an auto injector right here and each auto injector delivers 70 milligrams of drug. So one treatment is either 70 or 140 milligrams, so it's either one injection or two injections. So assuming that we're doing a 70 milligram injection, this is what the auto injector will look like for 70 milligrams, and if, you're, if a patient injects 140 milligrams, they'll use two of these. Um, prior to use, the auto injector should be inspected, and there's a little inspection window right there that's made out of clear, I think it's glass actually, um, and if I wanted to inject it, I'd look in here and I would say, um, you know, I'd, I'd, look at the, I'd look at the liquid inside and make sure that it's clear. Sometimes there's a slight yellow tinge, but there should definitely not be any cloudiness or any particles floating around, and there shouldn't be any cracks in the glass. Um, if a patient gets a, an injector that looks like it's been damaged or improperly stored, um, they should call the manufacturer or the distributor using the information, uh, contact information that's in the package, um, and I am pretty sure that they will get a replacement shipped out for free. So um, prior to using the auto injector, a patient will take off the little white cap. Uh, mine looks a little different because this is a demonstrator model that doesn't actually have a needle or a drug in it. Um, so, um, but that's generally what it will look like. Um, and so once the auto injector is inspected and prepared, the patient is then going to make sure that the skin is prepared. So there are three places that this uh, injection should be made. One is in the back of the arm. The other one is on the belly, um, a couple inches away from the belly button. Um, and the other one would be on the front of the thigh. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use my forearm because it's hard to picture those other ones without contorting myself. Just remember, when I show the forearm, that's only for demonstration. When patients do this in real life, they're gonna use one of three spots, back of the arm, um, belly, a couple inches away from the belly button, or the front of the thigh. So to prepare the skin, 
Um, patient's going to go ahead and cleanse that with an alcohol swab or a cotton ball dipped in alcohol or some other aseptic technique to make sure that the skin is clean. The skin should also be intact, in other words, no rashes, um, no injuries, no wounds, no scars, and avoid any area that has a blood vessel in it. Once that's done, um, the injector is placed on the skin, you know, sort of directly perpendicular to the skin, in other words, just standing straight up and down off the skin. And pressure is applied to the injector, and the pressure is enough to sort of depress the little needle guard um, that's on the tip of the injector, and it's also enough to blanch the skin, which means to, to sort of make the skin pale in that immediate area. So an injection um, will kind of, boy, am I really contorting myself. And in, to start the injection, you depress the switch here, right there. Um, and what you'll hear, or what the patient will hear, is going to be a click, a loud click. Um, they will see a little yellow bar appear in the window. Um, that's by my uh, middle finger there. Um, and then they'll hear another little click that means the injection is over. So what are they going to expect, inspect with the injection? Well, first of all, um, inside this tube, there's a, a, actually a fairly tiny needle. It's a 27 gauge needle, and 27 gauge is, you know, about the sign of a size of a very thin pencil line, um, and it's one half inch long. So, you know, really about that long, um, and 27 gauge. So, anyway, with skin prepped, injector um, held perpendicular, in other words, standing straight up and down off the skin, a little bit of pressure enough to apply there. And remember, I'm only using my forearm for demonstration. Um, the switch, the start switch is pressed. There's a click. There's a yellow bar that appears. And the dose is injected and the needle will pop back into the tube and it'll be, it'll be safe. And the patient can go ahead and discard that. Apply a little pressure, um, you know, for as long as it takes to stop whatever tiny amount of bleeding is expected and then you're gonna, that area gets covered with a band-aid and that can be left on for 12 to 24 hours or so. Um, when a patient does a 140 milligram dose, they're simply going to use one injector on one side of their body um, and the other injector on the other side um, and follow the same steps. Um, side effects of arenamab, um, the chief ones were um, injection site reactions, and those, those can be a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of bruising, a little bit of redness, a little bit of swelling, a little bit of discomfort. Anything beyond a little bit should be discussed with the prescribing doctor, or there's also a customer support line that, that uh, comes with the product, um, so, so that can provide some support for that too. Um, uh, other uh, other main side effect of arenamab um, would be constipation, and that's pretty uncommon. So um, generally, those are uh, those are tolerable side effects. So again, this was chiefly an informational demonstration unboxing uh, video for um, Amovig or arenamab, um, a brand new uh, human monoclonal antibody. Um, intended for prevention of migraine in adults. I hope that that was uh, useful and informative to you, and if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thanks very much. Dr. Krobe, Headache Expert. Bye-bye.